River of Fire by Karachalane Haider is a sweeping narrative that spans centuries, intertwining the personal with the historical, the ephemeral with the eternal. The novel, set against the backdrop of India's tumultuous history, delves deeply into the lives of its characters, exploring themes of identity, migration, and the cyclical nature of human experience. Through its richly layered narrative, the book examines the complexities of cultural and historical continuity, as well as the profound impact of time on individuals and civilizations. The novel structure is one of its most distinctive features. Heider employs a non-linear narrative, moving back and forth across different time periods. This approach allows her to explore the recurring themes of love, loss, and displacement through various historical contexts, from the time of the Mauryan Empire to the aftermath of the partition of India. The characters in the novel are reincarnations of themselves, appearing in different forms and guises throughout the ages. This technique underscores the idea of history as a cyclical process, where the same emotions, conflicts, and desires reappear in different epochs. Heider's portrayal of this eternal return challenges the conventional linearity of history, suggesting that the past, present, and future are inextricably linked. The theme of identity is central to River of Fire. The novel delves into the complexities of cultural and national identity, particularly in the context of the Indian subcontinent's diverse and multifaceted history. The characters in the novel struggle with questions of belonging and alienation, often finding themselves caught between different cultures, religions, and ideologies. For instance, the character of Gautam Nalambar, who appears in various incarnations throughout the novel, embodies the tension between tradition and modernity, spirituality and secularism. His journey mirrors the broader quest for identity that has shaped the history of the Indian subcontinent, particularly in the wake of colonialism and the partition. Hyder's portrayal of partition is particularly poignant. The novel reflects the trauma and dislocation experienced by millions of people during this period, as borders were redrawn and communities were torn apart. Through the experiences of her characters, Hyder captures the sense of loss and fragmentation that accompanied the creation of new nation-states. The novel's title, River of Fire, is a metaphor for this upheaval, a torrent that sweeps away everything in its path, leaving behind scars that are both physical and emotional. Yet, even in the face of such devastation, the novel suggests the possibility of regeneration and renewal, as individuals and communities seek to rebuild their lives amidst the ruins of the past. Heider's use of language is another striking aspect of the novel. Her prose is lyrical and evocative, blending poetry with historical narrative. The novel is filled with rich descriptions of landscapes, cities, and cultural practices, bringing to life the diverse and vibrant world of the Indian subcontinent. Haider also incorporates elements of various literary traditions, including classical Persian, Urdu, and Sanskrit literature, as well as modern European influences. This fusion of styles reflects the novel's broader exploration of cultural hybridity and the ways in which different traditions intersect and influence one another. At its core, River of Fire is a meditation on the passage of time and the persistence of memory. The novel suggests that history is not just a series of events, but a living, breathing entity that continues to shape the present and future. The characters in the novel are haunted by the ghosts of their past lives, as well as by the collective memories of their ancestors. These memories are not static, but evolve over time, taking on new meanings and resonances. In this way, the novel challenges the notion of history as something fixed and immutable, instead presenting it as a dynamic and ever-changing process. River of Fire is a masterful exploration of the human condition, offering profound insights into the